Okay, so today I'm going to teach you guys how to use vending machines. Now, for those of you who are wondering why I'm making this video, uh, actually this is similar to um, the money and credit system uh, video, so if you want to go back and watch that, you can see how I make that work in a different way, of course. This is just another way of using that because there are vending machines in the game, but they're not usable. So let me go ahead and show those off. Let's go to large props. It's pretty far down the menu. Find them. There they are. There's one. There's two. By themselves, they do nothing. Shoot them if you want, but they do absolutely nothing. There's no interactables on them whatsoever. That's because these are just props. They're, they're, there's no interactable parts on them. I wish there was, but there ain't. <coughs> so in order for this to work, we got to build a... Um, we gotta build something around them. So let's go ahead and do that. This is how you can make them work. Let's go ahead and put that right about right about there. There's a box trigger for this. I'm not gonna show on start. There's a plenty of room to get in there. You know it was about 61, 62 to last. Let me get 64. Yeah, okay, that's good enough. I knocked the width down a bit. 45 was a safe zone last time, and the height we got to make is just at the top, about 105. That's good. Make human usable because we're going to be using it. Because when you make it human usable, that means when you walk into this thing, it'll give you a button prompt to activate it. That's what you want. So over here, move this guy a little closer. Okay, so we got two of these. We're gonna use this for health and this for ammo. All right. Sugar used. Have our resource system. We're gonna spend. Make sure you set the minimum value to zero, by the way, because uh, if you don't, it'll still charge it anyway. But you're going to negatives. And you could do that, by the way, if you want someone to go into debt. And the further they go into debt, if they get to a certain limit, you can actually uh, make it so the game it's game over at that point. Or you can kill them automatically. Okay, so on spend resource succeeded. Go to our vitals. Give health. Let's just make 100 for right now so we can uh, get that going. Give it a sound effect so we know we did it. Yeah, that's good enough. Yes, that's one. Let's go to the other one. ammo of course. For the charger will make this one about 10. We're gonna make this one eh, about 15. So it's succeeded. Give ourselves some ammo. I get a box. Affect all weapons. This one a sound effect, so I know we did it. Of 
course, spin resource failed. Display a message on the screen. And we can go for about one second because that's the delay on these things. Both of those. Let's go ahead and put some text above these things. Health and ammo. Those work. Let's give ourselves a currency. Container here. Yeah, about a 10 second delay for respawn. Resource, there we go. I'll make this one in about 25. And then we'll give ourselves. Fire here so we can damage ourselves a bit. And finally, a heads up display so much money we got. Vendor, and then we got a ammo vendor. Now, if I go up to these things with no money, not enough. Not enough. Go away. We don't want you here. I got money now. If I fire off some ammo. Should be enough. Where's some ammo? There we go. So I got ammo now. Damage to my health. That's good enough. My health. There you go. I got no money, so it won't work again. Some more money. Some more ammo. My health down a little bit. I got vending machines. Now, like I said earlier, this is based on the same video I made about our credit system, so that you can build a credit system with just simple switches. Similar thing, just that you can put a vending machine here and make it look like, oh, I got vendors in here, kind of like in Borderlands. So you can do something like that. Now, if you want it so you can pick from multiple items on the vendor, then you have to build a separate game menu in a separate spot. You can't just walk up to these things and push it and then thinking, oh, I can pick what I want. It doesn't work that way in here. At least not yet. Hopefully we get something like that in here somewhere down the road. But this is all we got for right now. So, And if you want to build something with an in-game menu, uh, look at my video on in-game menus. And you'll see how to do that in a way so that, okay, if you select this thing, then you pick a menu of what you want to buy. So when you just, when you just have one vendor uh, with multiple items in it, that's how you can make that work. 
with that being said, thanks for watching, and you all take care.